What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to save Pico the Wingle from Team Magma, and now it is time to actually get to De or to Doofertown, because the president of the Devon Corporation actually gave us like a, a letter to send to his son or something. I don't even know. So, we're going to be moving on right here, and as you can see, now on the bottom of the screen right here, the area map nav, you, ha you can actually find yourself a Pokemon trainer who wants to rebattle you. As you can see, after you defeat the the first gym leader, you will be able to battle any trainer you want right here. And the best part about this whole thing is that they are going to be wanting to battle you every single time. So, off screen, I will be battling some of these guys. This is how we get stronger, guys. A lot, lot stronger. And uh, before we do anything, I did teach my Pokemon Cut, so that should be that should be an easy enough task right there for me, right there. And we found ourselves a revive. Now, where, where the hell were you when we needed you? Yeah. Okay. So they, they they're gonna make us work for it. So every single one of these guys will want to battle us. They're gonna be a little stronger. Not gonna do that. We gotta get to Duford. And uh, well, now that we have Cut, we can actually go through this area, kind of like butter. There we go. Okay. And, of course, you will be able to find some interesting Pokemon right here, too. Let me go ahead and uh, press this one right here. And Yeah, we still got two, maybe three Pokemon that we need to find around here. And, uh, holy crap, there's a rare one right here. And, uh, well, let's see. I gotta jump away from it because it might scare it away. So, let's see what we got. What makes this Pokemon so rare? It's at level 15 and it has Charm. Not the Pokemon that I want. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here, and uh, yeah, we're going to be battling another Pokemon trainer, or another Pokemon right here. And as you can see, we're going to be going up against a, a Cascoon. So, yeah, that is not in our plans right now. Okay, let's get the heck out of here, and uh, actually grab this item right here. And we found ourselves another Great Ball. Now, off screen, I will be capturing some Pokemon, stocking up on Pokemon. You might see some of my Pokemon's levels go up. Talk to this girl. Oh, that thing you have. It's a it's a Pokenet Plus. That means you're a trainer, then you should try this item. And here we have the Miracle Seed, which, of course, many of you guys already know. It powers up Grass-type Pokemon. So I got the right Pokemon for this guy right here. And, uh, well, I'm not going to try and find that Pokemon. Yeah, I'm not going to locate that Pokemon because it's already something I got. And it's not rare. So let's go right ahead and uh, grab this. And here we have an X attack. Alrighty. Okay, so that's a good one right there. Now let's just move on forward right here. And uh, we got another Pokemon like asking for our attention, but we're not gonna give it to him because we got shit to do. So let's move on right here. And the person that we have to actually go to is Mr. Briny, which you can actually go to his cottage right here. And uh, there he is chasing his Pico, the Wingle. And uh, well, let's go right ahead and talk to this guy. Hold on, Lass, belay that Pico. Oh, oh! if it ain't Draven, you're the one who saved my Pico. Hey, but we owe you for that day. What's that? You want to set sail with me? What's this all about then? Ah, letter to uh, Duford? Certainly, that'd be no problem at all. You've come to the right man. Shall we hoist sail for Duford once, uh, one, or for at once? Yes, sir, we are. Again. Dyslexia, you gotta love it. Do for we are a coming a anchors away. Pinker or <laughs> Pico, we are setting sail, my darling. <laughs> oh man, do I suck at reading? <laughs> so here it is, guys. We are uh, look at that. In a boat going to Doofer Town. I'm gonna be the very best. Look at that. And uh, more than likely, that is our thumbnail for the day right there. And uh, now. We are in Doofer Town. You gotta love the graphics right here, guys. It, it is a miracle right here. Ahoy! We stuck land in Doofer, lad. I suppose you'll be heading ashore to deliver that letter to what's his name or whomever. If you ever get a feeling of lot, or if you ever get, if you ever feeling lost in a drift through, though, <laughs> try calling in the island's Pokemon Gym. The leader Brawly surely uh, sure knows, uh, surely knows everyone and everything that goes on in his house. Or this town, I should say. And uh, that is true. Man, do... Uh, okay, so here we are in Doover Town. And uh, a tiny island in the blue sea. Now, 
Okay, so there's a lot of things that you can actually do here. One being you can actually battle the gym early on, but the other thing too is you can go to this guy and he will actually give you, oh yeah, the, the itching to fish. I hear you, I see what you're saying, I'll give you one of my fishing rods. And bam, we get ourselves the old rod, which is always good, and uh, as an added bonus, I'll even throw in a fishing, a little fishing advice. First, you want to face the water and then use the rod. Fuck is your mind? If you get a or if you get a bite, pull on the rod. Sometimes you uh, snag something immediately, but bigger catches. You need uh, you need a uh, time to pull your rods and stuff to hold them. Wow, can't even read. Again, should have uh, focused more on reading than football and all that stuff, don't you guys think? Probably. I don't even know. Again, I'm a little excited about playing this game right here. And uh, here we are in another route. We're gonna be grabbing this item right here, and this is a super potion. Uh, that's a very good, uh, very, very, or super repel. And uh, is there anything else right here? No, there's people swimming, but we won't be able to get to them in quite some time. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go back into Doofer Town and explore a little bit more of the city or the town or whatever. And then maybe get into a battle here and there. As you can see, there are two people right here, and one guy is like, there's a, lot to, uh, there's a lot to be said for living in a small island in harmony with my Pokemon and my family. Crisscross applesauce. Here we go. When I married my husband, I moved here from a large port, uh, city at Slayport. Life goes by slowly on this island, but being surrounded by a beautiful sea, that's that's a kind of happiness too. That is true. That is very, very true. So let us move on right here. And uh, well, so far so uh, so far so good. We haven't had any lagginess. I'm, I think I, I think I figured out the strategy on how to not lag on this thing. And, uh, well, let's see. Uh, if you go right here, this will actually talk about the trend, the exchanges of information. So let's go ahead and talk to the people here. And, uh, let's see. Of course, the trend right now is po potion festivals. A life without potion festivals is unthinkable. Okay, so potion festivals it is. And, uh, are potion festivals even trendier overseas? Maybe, I don't know. None of these people will actually give you any items they're just gonna be saying uh, a single trend and that happens to be potion setters right now or potion adventures or I don't even know I don't pay attention so very well <laughs> so here we go feast your eyes on this it's a still scarf it's cutting edge of fashion oh I see your eyes are twinkling you appreciate my dazzling style what a delight you are here please I want you to have it and here we have a silk scarf for your normal type Pokemon right there and uh, well, let's go right here, and uh, wow, you're bo or you bothered to cross the sea to, to visit Duford. Are you here because they heard about Brawly? He's cool. Everybody idolizes him. That is true. Not me though. I idolize Brawly, the uh, the the Dragon Ball Z guy. That guy. So we're gonna be going right here to Route 106, and we're gonna be battling a few trainers here and there. You know, we we need to power up because we got a challenge ahead of us. We got. Uh, you know, Brawly, it's got some fighting type Pokemon right there. Yeah, so we gotta get beefed up and everything. What do okay? What do people do? Or what do people do if they need to go and take a break? What if my broad uh, hooks on a big one while I'm uh, in the washroom? I just can't believe. I don't even know. Okay, so here we go. Another Pokemon battle going up against Fisherman Ned, and he's gonna be coming out with a Tentacool and. Uh, I got the right Pokemon for this guy right here. Go Gaia! Alrighty, alright, alright. And of course, Trace. You gotta love that uh, Pokemon ability. So let's go right ahead and start attacking this Pokemon right here. And uh, well, here he comes out with his toxic spikes. And uh, well, the good thing is that we're not gonna really switch out Pokemon right here. And uh, super, effect super effective, but not as effective right there. And uh, don't know why you keep on doing that. It's not going to affect me not one bit if I don't switch out. And uh, there we go again. Another confusion attack. So let's go one more time. Confusion. And homeboy is going to go with a acid attack, which is actually super effective. So here we go. That's right. Confusion for the win. Eat it. Alrighty. And uh, look at that. Grows the level 12. And, uh, well, we defeated Fisherman Ned. That's always good right there, guys. Very, very good. 
Okay, so let's see. We gotta heal our, our Pokemon right here because we don't want any kind of a... We don't want to uh, we don't want to faint right here or use up the revive that we have right now So let's go right ahead and uh, let's see there might be an item right here that we can actually get Maybe nope just another fisherman <laughs> And yes, we found ourselves a protein which you can probably use for a Pokemon or sell for a high enough price and This guy which you prefer fishing in the sea or on the stream. I Don't know I like both so here we go, you are challenged by Fisherman Elliot, and he will be coming out with a Magikarp. Ah, oh, great. Although, I do have my eye on that Pokemon right now. Just wait until the next episode, guys. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Let's go with the Disarming Voice. I haven't used that in, uh, ever. And, uh, well, it gets louder, it will actually get better. And, uh, that took half its HP right there, so... Let's go right again and use another uh, disarming voice. And, uh, well, as you guys already know, Magikarp, pretty fast Pokemon right there. So there you go. Suck it, Magikarp. There we go. And, uh, okay, so he's going to be coming out with a tentacle. So let's just stay by right here. Gaia needs all the experience he can get right here. And, uh, well, let's go Confusion Attack. And, uh, Crud. Acid attack is gonna really kill us right now. And, uh, yeah, that's not gonna do anything. Well, not gonna do much. So, I'm gonna be switching out my Pokemon right here. Let's go with Sage of the the Halo. And, uh, well, here we go. You are in charge. And, uh, there comes that Supersonic. Oh, crud. Alrighty, okay, so let's go right ahead and use that Mega Drain. Hopefully it does something. Can it? Will it? And, uh, yeah, it just drains a little bit. But it, remember, it is a Poison-type Pokemon, so that is going to be something. And, uh, well, you know what? I do have the Pound Attack right here. Believe it or not, I'm actually using a pen right here to actually move or pick the moves right now. And, uh, well, this guy's hurting me with Confusion, and he's going to keep on hitting me with a Poison Sting. God dang it. Alright, quick attack. Come on! Let's go, Sage! Let's go. Quick attack for the win! Suck it, Tentacle! Suck it. Alrighty, okay. And, uh, well, everybody's getting experience points, and there we go. We defeated Fisherman Elliot. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so that's uh, another guy down right there. And, uh, well, let's see. We got another Pokemon trainer right here. I think there's an item right here that you can actually find, but before we do that, let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon again. And, uh, let's see, gonna give that to that, and that to that. Okay. Alrighty, so, let's continue on our adventure right here and battle this guy. See what he has to say. I was born in a village far from the sea, so I have a dream of coming to Hoenn. Good for him. Good for you. So, here we go. Backpacker Grummy or Grammy. I don't even know how to pronounce his name, but he's coming out with a slack off. And uh, well, here we go with Gaia the Fierce Knight. Let's go right ahead and uh, let's kick some ass and take some names right here. Alrighty. So here we go. Confusion for the win. Maybe. I don't even know. Crud. And uh, there's that scratch attack that we don't like. Okay, so. Of course, Slackoth is going to be a little strong. And this might require me to capture another Pokemon here and there. Maybe. Just maybe. I don't even know. But we're going to be switching out to Sage of the, of the Halo. And he's going to use his Truant. So what we're going to do now is going to use that Mega Drain. Because, uh, why not? Yeah, buddy. And Crud does not make him faint. But he does use that Encore attack. Which he, he pretty much screw, screws himself right there. So there we go. Oh yes, you have fainted, my my good friend. And Gaia, you are uh, you you have grown some points right there. So that's another victory for us. And uh, well, let's see. I'm actually going to be going into the granite cave because uh, trust me, guys, this this is not going to take long right here. But there's not a lot of stuff that you can do right now. They actually have a little requirement for you in this this sense right here. So I'm going to be using a repel. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead. 
and uh, go right here. So as you can see, Granite Cave has been, well, there's a little bit of an added feature. You can actually slide up here with your bike or you can talk to this guy and he's going to be like, hey you, it gets awfully dark ahead. It'll be, uh, be tough trying to explore. Well, for us hikers, helping uh, out those uh, that we meet is our motto. Here you go, I'll pass this on to you and we get ourselves the TM70, which is Flash. It's no longer an HM. Hello, hello. And teach that TM Flash to a Pokemon and use it. It lights up even the inky dark, uh, darkness of the caves. Okay, so now, just when you think you're able to go into the uh, into the granite cave a little further, you can't because there's a bunch of explorers right here blocking the way. And this guy's like, a mural ahead is drawing a lot of attention lately. The other day, Team Something in red or blue suits came here in numbers. Oh, huh. okay. The mural ahead, can't figure what it's painted there, but then the ruin, uh, that makes ruin th enthusiasts like me more curious about it. It looks like a huge Pokemon is painted on it, but I've never seen such a Pokemon. It's so intriguing and fascinating. And what do you have to say? Hey, hey, cutting a like is no bueno. Okay, well, thanks for letting me know right there. Okay, so, of course, you can actually find some Pokemon right here, guys. And uh, I'm going to use a Repel again because that is uh, something for the next... Never mind. Not for next time. And would you look at that? We have found an Abra. And like I said before, guys, I'm going to, I'm going to have the team, or I'm going to actually capture all the Pokemon that I had in previous generations... I just don't know if I'm going to be using them on this team right here, too, because there's so many possibilities. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to just throw a Great Ball and see if I can capture this guy right here. One, two, three. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so there we go, guys. We captured ourselves in Abra, and many of you guys already know we had an Abra before in our team. We called him Ultra Psycho, right? And Sage is learning Pursuit, so... Let's go ahead and forget a move right here. Let's see. Uh, you know what? Pound is a, a move that I definitely want to forget. Since I already have a normal type move. So there we go. Forgets Pound and learns Pursuit. And here we have another Pokemon right here. By the name of Abra. Look at that. First time we encounter it. First time we get it. Abra sleeps for 18 hours a day. However, it sense the presence of foes while even, it's, even while it's sleeping. In such a situation, this Pokemon immediately teleports to safety. So, you guys already know what nickname I'm going to give him. I'm going to nickname him Ultra Psycho. Here we go. Ultra. Ultra. Psycho. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, delete. There we go. There we go. So, there it is. One of our Pokemon is finally with us. I don't know if I'm going to be using them on the team or not or anything like that. But I will be using them eventually for, like, such other tutorials and all that stuff, too, guys. So, we're going to stay right here. In the next episode, guys, we're going to be filling up. Yes, guys. We're going to be filling up on some teammates. Uh, one thing that I want to let you guys know about this whole thing is that we're going to be rotating Pokemon from here and there. Again, in I think this is, like, what, Generation 7 or no, no, no. Generation 6, I think. A handful of possibilities onto this game has been given to us and I'm gonna try and make the most of it especially with you know the kind of circumstances that I'm faced right now of course uh, the lagginess and all that stuff but you know I think I'm getting the hang of it and I think I already know how to prevent these lagginess from happening ever again so you know bear with me guys something new this is the first time I'm doing it in quite some time um, yes in the next episode we will be filling up on some Pokemon teammates so stay tuned guys I'll be back for another episode of Pokemon Omega Ruby see you guys <laughs>